Balanced View is a, so it's a global movement, a community of people around the world. It's a teaching. There are teachers, there are resources and tools available and a practice for anyone interested to get to know the beneficial nature of your intelligence, the beneficial nature of reality. And um, in that getting to know, it's to um, completely live with that empowerment available to you. And um, to basically live in the way that we are completely intended and purposed to as human beings for the benefit of all. Um, and in my experience, I met, I met the, um, the Balance View Training eight years ago in 2008 and it's been uh, an incredible unfolding an incredible unfolding in uh, a life that I didn't really imagine was possible or maybe I imagined <laughs> but a, a sense of first comfortability in myself ease in myself that comes about that has come about and increasingly so and then um, with that a sense really truly of mine and everybody's great capacity like you know the word exaltation to now I'll give you like a Lizzie dictionary definition here this isn't <laughs> this isn't Oxford English but let's not worry about the Oxford English dictionary right now um, to to hold in the highest regard to to hold in the very highest regard to see in the very highest regard so your exalted nature you exalted, all of us, every single human being, not some, or not an entity somewhere off, uh, a god or a projection, or you, and everything about you, completely and utterly exalted, perfect, wholly beneficial. This isn't what I learned. <laughs> so the, the Balance You Training s sort of clears the playing field, you could say like of all of the um, ideas and belief systems that we've taken about ourselves to be true or humanity or what certain thoughts, emotions and experiences and sensations mean and how we're meant to respond and react to them, what they say about us, what they say about the world, how we're doing. Um, and what we get to know is what is completely all-encompassing, what is uniting everything the basis of our intelligence, the nature of our mind. And it's again, it's so simple, it's right here. <laughs> and if you just stop thinking for a moment and notice what remains, you'll notice an alertness, a clarity, a cognizance, intelligence. It's always on, open, open intelligence we call it. It's always present perceiving everything equally. The power to know, your power to know. And within our intelligence, we see within this moment, there's many different perceptions, things that we can describe or descriptions or feelings or colors, glistenings. <laughs> and um, these experiences we, we term data streams. They're, they're the liveliness of our intelligence. And um, the introduction to open intelligence is going from, in my experience, focusing on all of the content of my mind, on the data streams, the thoughts, emotions, sensations, how am I feeling today, is it okay, does it fit with that idea of an okay human being, <laughs> or do I need to do something about that? This, this temporary appearance, this temporary data stream, because what we see is the data streams, this moment, it's, it's the data streams that are arising and resolving on their own, leaving no trace. The thought you had a moment ago, it's gone, like the mist in the air or the sensation. They're just self-releasing on their own back into open intelligence, like the flight path of a bird in the sky, all in complete relaxation. And, um, and so in introducing ourselves to open intelligence, and with the, we are also introduced to a practice of short moments. It's to simply relax mind and body and recognize open intelligence 
for a short moment whenever you remember to do so. And so rather than focusing in on all of the data streams, we just simply relax. So for example, before coming up here, sitting in the chair there, watching the amazing talk with Candice, and thoughts of, I don't want to go on stage <laughs> coming up, I don't really want to share today, maybe someone else could share. <laughs> and, uh, and right there is the perfect opportunity just to simply relax, rely on open intelligence and see, there we empower our seeing of what will serve, what's of greatest benefit to all, what we actually truly want to do. It's a clear seeing, the seeing of open intelligence in allowing the current data stream just to be as it is. That's the practice of short moments. So you relax your mind and body for a short moment, allow whatever it is to be as it is and see for yourself, test it out. How is it? Through your day, right now, whatever might be coming up for you. Maybe there's a little ache in the knee, or I don't know, or feeling a bit tired and the sensations that come with that. And you know, the question of what am I doing here, <laughs> what's going on, just naturally relaxing and letting that be as it is and relying there on open intelligence, which we've been introduced to. Once you've been introduced, you, you know what it is and um, you can return to it and see, and in my experience, that's what I did in the beginning, test it out. Nothing made sense. <laughs> so I'd say like nothing made it just it was just that I could recognize open intelligence. I could recognize the openness of my mind in the midst of whatever data stream is arising. See that there's a shining intelligence inseparable from it, completely inseparable, like the color blue in the sky. So we go to what's most the foundation, what's primary, what's always present, what's reliable our true nature as open intelligence. And, um, and in that we open up into, for me it was a capacity to be in the world, to be in relationship with myself, with all of my ever-changing array of data streams and in, in such an open-hearted and complete way, powerful way. And, um, and really, really getting to know, getting to know my beneficial power. And it's, it, it's so important that we do, you know, like was mentioned about diminishing ourselves, marginalizing ourselves. So many ideas that I had about myself, the need to improve, self-criticism, basically, like the bar was set so low, that's how I'd put it. <laughs> I was happy pretty much, but like the bar was set low in like what is possible? How, what, how is it possible to come together with other people and work in a really successful and powerful way? Because there was just always so much going on for me, basically massive self-doubt, thinking that I wasn't good enough or not liking someone or thinking someone didn't like me and then feeling I had this entire like wall of like issues to kind of get rid of or avoid or I just normally would sort of withdraw myself from situations. Like working on community projects, really wanting to do great things and just seeing so many limitations in myself of what I saw I was capable of. And then coming to the Balance You training and putting this into practice, recognizing open intelligence in everyday life and enjoying that empowerment naturally, seeing it unfold and coming together with other people who are also relaxing as they are and recognizing open intelligence. Then, then you just see the magic start to happen, what's possible. Because all of those ideas, they're, they're not the focus of who I am, who you are, what you needed to be like to make me happy. <laughs> that was the quote. How you need to change. Everything, everything starts to rest naturally in open intelligence and outshine and what becomes the, the context is the benefit of all. The solution in every situation. So when we let our data streams be as they are, in a very practical sense, you can test it out. And um, and rather than getting into the whole, 
I, you know, so something comes up and the very normal reaction for me would have been to just get in there and work it out and like, why am I feeling this? Or there's an issue or a problem and I've got to think it through. So think and think and think or worry. And instead, we take a short moment of open intelligence. Too simple, right? <laughs> Too simple from everything we've learned, but we need to test it out to see. So you empower the, you recognize the intelligence that knows everything. Vast, open, limitless, perceiving all, all experience, and rest there and see what comes. And in my experience, it's solution after solution. And seeing how I can be of benefit in a situation which, from um, just emphasizing the data streams and, and it's like it's like um it's like going from being in the valley to being on the mountain top resting as comprehensive intelligence and it, it's right here for all of us it is what we are and it's it's in the flow of our data streams simply as they are and then life becomes so much easier and it's in so my heartfelt invitation is to test out short moments, see for yourself. And the, the empowerment network of Balance View provides everything possible and needed for this recognition just to come about very naturally. By listening, by reading, writing, by spending time in the atmosphere, you could say, of like relaxed empowerment with other people. It, it, it just shines more and more. We, we shift culture from, from the ideas of thinking that humans are flawed, we need to change somehow, there's something wrong with the flow of our mind into the recognizing the perfection of your intelligence right now as open intelligence. And there's everything available to make this really like a lived, a complete lived experience in every day.